What up folks, it's Alex here. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at this. This is the Yongnuo YN360S LED video wand light. Now, that S is really important because it's the smaller, lighter version of the original YN360. So what's the difference? Well, the YN360 is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, and a little bit pricier, but it does have more functionality. The original YN360 has two different types of white. You've got 3200 and 5500K, and it also has RGB, so you can make it any color you like. This, the 360S, is thinner, smaller, lighter, way more portable, but only does 5500K. Now, if you're interested in seeing about the original YN360, I've popped a link in the description below for the Make Art Now channel. The chap on there has done a really good review of the original YN360, so go check that out. But in this video, we're gonna look at this one, the baby version, the YN360S. Now it's made up of 148 white LEDs and they are at 5,500K or Kelvin. The color rendering index or CRI is at least 95, which is pretty damn good. Now in terms of brightness, it's pretty damn bright. It's rated for about 1,500 lumens. This is at full power and it's gonna completely blow me out. It weighs nothing without a battery. It's 200 grams and it's actually small enough to go into a reasonably sized backpack you can get it in there or a messenger bag you can slip it in your luggage without really thinking about it so it can go anywhere which is really really useful now it has swappable batteries they are sony np batteries right quick interlude it's actually a sony np f battery that you need now the smaller one i'm about to show is an np f 550 the bigger one is a 750 and you can also get 950s the recommended ones by young neo are the 750 so yeah just wanted to clear that up now this is a tiny one you can also get much bigger ones they're relatively cheap you can pick two up with a charger for about 30 quid again on amazon or ebay depending where you want to go now according to young neo a big fat one like this is good for about 150 minutes at full power the battery mounts in like so and then there's a quick release button just on the right hand side to pop it off you can power it off the mains it takes a 12 volt 2 amp power supply so just a generic power supply again that doesn't come in the box but you can pick up a generic one again for dirt cheap off amazon or ebay in terms of controls there's not much to say on the back here you have an on and off switch. You have a little LED, as you can see here, it's on 99. And on the right hand side and left hand side, you've got up and downs, which control the power. And that is it. That's all you get. So if I flick it on, 99, that's full output. And you can dim it all the way to zero. So you've got zero to 99 dimmability or control over your light. You can tap for really granular control or push and hold to skim through it quite quickly. If you want to check your battery level, you press both buttons together at the same time. And I've got P9, which is power nine, and that'll go all the way down to zero, and that's when your batteries run out. Now, it does also have Bluetooth connectivity, and you can get an app on your phone. I personally don't use it, not with this one. I have used the app with the original 360 because obviously you can control the colors. The, all the app does on this is an on or an off, so really, it's not that useful. Now, the last thing to mention, it does also have a quarter inch tripod thread on the bottom. I've got a little Monfrotto tripod, portable one, really handy, screws onto the bottom of here. You can pretty much put it where you like. So, why would you want one? What can you use them for? You can use them for basically anything. If you're out and about on a shoot, really handy, throw it in the bag, take it with you. You can light your subject with one or two of these. I actually use these to light my videos. So I'm actually using the original YN360 at the moment on a tripod, just pointing at a white wall. That's bouncing off, it's lighting me, it's giving me some nice soft light to record this video. I could use a second one as an additional bit of fill light or I could light my background with it. In some of my videos, I've used the original YN to add some color and then I just use this one as my main. Also really good for light painting. If you're into your photography, I've done a lot of line painting with these, a lot of car automotive photography. They're really, really good. This one 
the 360S is actually a little bit better um, than the original YM360 because it's got this sort of, it's not massively diffused, but it's a little bit more diffused. It's not as harsh of a light source, which also makes it pretty good for this YouTube lark. Let's add an extra bit of light there. So you can, as you can see, it's relatively diffused. You can still see the LEDs, so it's not perfect, but it's not half bad. Let me just swap that out, bear with me. And there you go. Now I'm lighting this entire video, there's a little bit of ambience coming through the curtains, but all of me is lit with the 360S on full power on a mini tripod, just shot into a white wall. And that's all you need. Yes, you can spend more and you can get better results with a massive light setup, but for some really good easy run and gun lighting this thing's pretty damn good now you can pick this up on ebay if you look in the right places without a battery for about 30 quid on amazon at the minute it's 40 but if you look on ebay you can get it for 30. now the original yn360 the cheapest you can realistically find that for is 60 to 70 quid sometimes you'll get it for 60 generally it's around the 70 sometimes 80 pound mark so this is basically half the price of the original YN360. Now obviously it does a whole lot less. It's only one colour of white and it doesn't have any RGB. Now if you need those things obviously the original YN360 is the way to go but if you're just looking for a decent cheap good quality white LED wand light this is definitely the one to look at. So that's it that's sort of a mini review of the YN360 S. I can definitely recommend these things. They're small, they're portable, they're light, they're super flexible, and almost most importantly, they're really cheap. One or two of these may be combined with one of the original 360s, and you've got yourself a pretty damn flexible lighting setup. I've had my original 360 for a couple of years, two, three years probably, and it's still going strong. I haven't had this one for as long, but I've been really, really impressed with it. And actually, if I only need white when I'm going out and about, I always take this one because it doesn't take up as much room in the bag. It's just easier to lug around. So that's it. There you go. I can highly recommend them. Go check them out. 30 quid. You can't really go wrong. Cheers.